There are three things that I stopped doing which greatly benefited my life. And there are also five things that I started doing which equally benefited my life in immense ways, immense ways, ways that completely changed my life, that completely caused me, allowed me to be here right now making this video for you. And I want to get into, oh, it's raining, baby. You can hear it? All right, we're going to make this video in the rain. This is, this is Van City, baby. Weather might be shitty, but we keep the vibes high because we eat papayas and they keep us pretty fly. We see outside is kind of gritty, but we're like, yo, never feeling shitty, but the vibe is always high because we eat papaya and we're feeling really fly. So the first thing that I stopped doing was watching television and listening to mainstream news and radio. I stopped doing that. When you stop putting shit in, you stop getting shit out for the most part. Especially mentally, man. The news is full of, oh, damn, dude, it's really raining. What, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna keep making this video or are we gonna shut it off? Let's commit to it, man. Let's commit to this. Martin Luther King said, I'm not leaving behind any money. I'm not leaving behind any luxurious or fancy things. But I wanna leave behind a committed life. Martin Luther King Jr., man. Beautiful words. And I wanna to commit to you guys right here by making this video. Three things. I stopped watching TV, I stopped listening to mainstream radio news. Instead of hearing gossip and the dramas and the negativity from the outside of the world, I started creating beautiful things in my own mind instead. Second thing I stopped doing was watching pornography and jacking off all the time. That stuff drains your energy and it's the biggest distraction out there, man. Your body has to, oh, it's just pouring, man. Can you see that? Your body has to produce so much energy just to, uh, revitalize yourself after you've blown your load. So I stopped blowing my load, I, I now do no blow, no fap, and uh, it's wonderful, it's lovely, highly recommend it. Third thing I stopped doing was eating really shitty food, not caring what I put in my body. Now I really care about what I put in my body. Can't find shelter shade anywhere, man, <laughs> oh damn! This is, this is just lovely, lovely. Uh, yeah, I saw, I stopped putting shit in my body, man. Now I focus on high quality fruit. But the five things I've started doing, I'll start there. I started focusing on whole fresh, ripe, raw, juicy fruit. 99.99% of all my calories come from sweet, fresh, ripe, raw, juicy fruit. They might not be juicy all the time because bananas and avocados aren't quite juicy, but they're at least fresh and raw and ripe. So that's been a huge change in my life, eating raw food. The second thing I started doing is expressing myself here on YouTube. But you don't express, you suppress. And suppression turns to depression. And I don't want that, man. I love to express. It just feels good. Self-expression is essential. If you can't express yourself around the people you're with, find new people. You've got to learn to express yourself, man. It feels really, really good. The uh, third thing I started doing, which I highly recommend everyone do, meditate. If you don't know how to get into meditation, watch a, watch a few YouTube videos on it, man. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there teaching you how to meditate. There's many different ways of meditating. There's no one right way. And some people will say, oh, I don't meditate anymore. And now I'm always in a meditative state. All right, whatever. If you don't want to sit down and practice meditating because you're too good for that or whatever, then uh, I'm surprised you're even typing on the internet. You can never be too good to sit down and practice meditating, man. Some people do it for 50, 60, 70 years. It just feels good to do. Whether you uh, believe in the apparent benefits or not. If it feels good, do it. And meditation definitely feels good. Uh, the fourth thing, or I don't know what number one, but the fourth thing I started doing is uh, lifting heavy weights in the gym. That feels so, so good, man. Such a confidence booster. Such a testosterone booster, too. So I lift heavy in the gym, I love the incline bench press, I love squats, I love deadlifts, I love pull-ups, shoulder raises, military press, heavy lifts, 5 to 10 reps is a great rep range. And uh, another thing I started doing, I, don't, I think it's the fifth thing, yeah, the fifth thing I started doing is listening to audiobooks and listening to masters. Like just listening to people who are way smarter than me, listening to people who are way wiser than me, listening to people who are way more successful than me, listening to people who are in the position that I want to be in. 
listening to audiobooks, listening to interviews on YouTube of them. Uh, it's just really important to learn from people who are where you want to be. And, and not just listening to them once, but listening to them on repeat and repeat and repeat. Because you can't just expect to watch a video once and extract all of the information in that video. If it's a great video, watch it again. If you listen to an awesome audiobook, listen to it again. You don't go to the gym once and expect to get super duper fit. You would never go to the gym once and expect to get super duper fit, right? You go to the gym once, you say, wow, that felt great. My muscles are kind of sore. And I know if I go like seven more times, then uh, I'll be way, way fitter. And if I go 70 more times, I'll be like unrecognizably fitter. If I go 700 times, I'll be like fitter than most people on the planet, because most people on the planet have never even worked out 700 times. So you know that fitness, improving fitness requires repetition and same with extracting knowledge out of a book or audio book or video. So repeating the good stuff man, repeating the good stuff, that's something I started doing as well a lot more. And the next big thing I want to start doing, the reason I'm making this video, I'll tell you what the next big thing, the next big thing is for me personally, you, you, might, you might want to try this as well, but I want to stop multitasking. Like, the only multitasking I want to allow myself to do is walk and make these videos. That's one type of multitasking. And working out in the gym, listening to music, that's multitasking. I allow myself to do that. And walking, listening to audiobooks. So I love listening to audiobooks. Other than that, man, you don't want to be juggling multiple tasks, having a bunch of different tabs open on the internet, holding conversation with people while you're doing something else. Like, you know, I'm trying to get the keys out of my pocket while I'm got the camera going. Multitasking just F's up the brain, man. It causes stress. It's way better to be single-minded, single-focused on one thing at a time. It just feels so good to be focused on a task. This key doesn't seem to be working, so that's alright. Oh, we got it. Good. See ya. One task at a time. We start to finish. Hey guys, hope you guys liked this video. That was a nice little video. It's great to stay on my camera, it's probably like, dude, what just happened? I gotta go stick this camera in like a box of rice or something. If your technology ever gets wet, like a computer or your phone or whatever, stick it in a box of dry rice and the rice just like sucks it up. I'm not sure if we have any rice in the house, but I'll check. Oh, it's too much.